Maranatha, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. Today our words are going to come from 1 Peter chapter 3, and I just want to take the, the look at this uh, verse together. We're going to take it in context here. We're going to talk about a couple, th- couple things here. Um, we've been talking, of course, we start our week now of peace, as we talk about peace, um, and that peace, uh, as, uh, as the angels proclaim, right, on earth, peace, goodwill toward men, knowing peace is Jesus. So let's take a look at this verse here, though, and just kind of see what the Lord has to say to us about peace and what peace might actually look like and how we can, uh, how we should pursue it. It says this way. It says, finally, be ye of one mind. This is verse 8, sorry. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 8. Finally, be ye of one mind, having compassion one of another. Love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous. Not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing, but contrawise blessing. Knowing that ye are thereunto called, that ye should inherit a blessing. For he that hath, for he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guile. Let him eschew evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensue it. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. So this is a very simple concept. Uh, when we look at this idea here, he was really telling us to do is this. He's telling us how we're supposed to behave ourselves in this world as citizens of heaven and ambassadors for Christ in a foreign land. He's telling us how we're supposed to behave ourselves, how we're supposed to conduct ourselves in this life. We're supposed to be uh, compassionate toward one another, pitiful for one another, courteous to one another, not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing, but rather blessing when we can. And he says this, he says, for they that will love life and they will see good days. They will refrain their, their, their tongue from evil and they will, their lips from no guile and they'll, and they'll eschew evil and, the, and do good. And they will, what? Seek peace. Well, we know seeking peace doesn't come from seeking peace in this world. It comes from seeking peace in the Lord. You can only find true peace and lasting peace in the Lord Jesus Christ. And the, 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 the peace that will never, ever fade away the peace that surpasses under understanding and it says this way he says for the eyes of the lord are over the righteous and his ears are open in their prayers but if we choose to go the other direction we choose to behave the other way he says this he says and the lord the face of the lord is against them that would do evil so brothers and sisters very simple let's pursue peace let's ensue it. Let's go after peace. And how do we go after peace? We go after getting closer to Jesus Christ so we can behave more like him to all in our life, to everyone around us, to show that love, to show that care, to show that kindness. I know it's tough, (laughs) especially in seasons like this, right? But the truth of the matter is, this is the way we're supposed to behave ourselves. So I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.